still kept by the grace of God. As for I and my family, we are still kept by the grace of God. This is Pastor Reis, your leadership coach, your relationship coach, and an author. And we are back, we are back, we are back. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure that you do subscribe on our YouTube channel and you become part and parcel of this family. And you become part and parcel of this family. More content is coming in your way. So, how is your year, guys? How is your year so far? Mine, it's all about prayer, planning, and you know, just like reviving myself, checking all the things that I've written down to fulfill, and and I'm like astonished at, 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 at all that I found, or rather maybe the things that I found in my diaries and so forth. There are a lot of things that I wanted to achieve, <laughs> and some of them I did manage to achieve, some of them I didn't achieve, you know, things that I wanted to fulfill. But a few things that I just want to share with you and I believe that it is going to transform you and change you and make you a better leader in whatever sphere of life where you are in the corporate, at church, in your family and, and all that, you know. There's a scripture that I've read recently and it blesses my heart, you know. Uh, I think it's in the book of uh, Corinthians chapter 11 and, and it says, um, Apostle Paul writes and says, follow me as I follow Christ. It's one simple verse, but it is so amazing, you know, to say, follow me as I follow Christ. You know what I've learned or what I've discovered with this verse is that it talks about a mentorship system. It talks about a mentorship system that we all have to have mentors. You know, it, it, it will help you. It will help you. Having a mentor in your life, it will help you. And as a leader, since you're mentoring other people, since you're grooming other people, you owe it to yourself to have someone who mentors you, someone who grooms you, someone who also makes time to speak to you, shape you, develop you. You, you get the point? So, so, so this is what I want to say, that in 2023, if you did not have a mentor in 2022, make sure that you find a mentor. And these are some of the things that I want you to understand with this mentorship a relationship every relationship begins with communication and 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 it is very much crucial for you to be clear on what you are looking for when you're looking for a mentor it is very much it is very much essential for that that what kind of a person are you looking for and what kind of a person are you what is that that you want to achieve this year what is that that you want to achieve in your life so you 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 you, you basically look for someone who's going to build you, someone is going to also develop you, someone is also going to help you realize the greater potential that you possess as a person. So so, so mentorship is a relationship. And, and, and I want to say this with a loud voice and, and keep it in mind, you know, relationships are sensitive structures that each and every person has to learn or rather has to develop himself in accordance uh, to whatsoever that you want to achieve in that particular relationship because we, we end up running relationship with our behaviors and with some other things that we are doing which which they they temper the kind of relationship that you're having with a particular person you know a mentorship relationship is not a romantic relationship therefore it cannot be the same how you behave yourself how you portray yourself how how you do things in that relationship it won't be the same with a romantic relationship and we have to understand those things that these are two uh, different structures of relationship therefore we have to behave differently we have to do things differently so number one a mentorship relationship is not a grab and go relationship it's not a grab and go relationship yes i know that there are people that are going to be a voice for a season over your lives some they are going to be a voice for a period of time and so forth some they are going to be a permanent voice as long as you live in this world they are going to mentor you and so forth but understand this thing that each and every relationship since it began well it must end well so we must stop this issue of saying when well, now it's time for you to leave you have to leave because 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 or rather maybe you are leaving because the relationship is no longer fit or good and so forth so there are things that we self-impose it is just like in ministry you know we, we we all think that when you are getting out from a denomination going to ministry or rather maybe going to begin ministry and so forth we have to get out in that particular church uh, 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 with problems and all those things sometimes it doesn't have to in fact not sometimes always it doesn't have to go in that route you can say your goodbyes 
and say your thank yous. Thank you guys who have helped me up to this far. Thank you for this and that and that. This is time for me to leave. So relationships, since you have entered well, make sure that when you sign off, you sign off well. Or when you go, go well with your goodbyes. That's the first thing, that relationships, or rather men, the mentorship relationship, is not a grab and go kind of a relationship. Number two, it is not just a mere association. It is not just a mere association. So I'm, I'm, I'm not looking for mentorship because I'm looking for just association, you know. It, is, it, must be, it, must, it must have an intent. You must be intentional about it. That I'm going there to learn. I'm going there to be transformed. I'm not going there only for association, for people to talk to, for people just to be with and so forth. But you must go there with an intent of learning. And you must go there with an intent of saying, I want to be developed. I want to discover more of myself. I want to discover more of the potential that I possess. So a mentorship relationship should go to that direction. The last thing that I want to say that a mentorship relationship is not a mentorship a relationship, uh, 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 brethren, saints, wherever you are, is not a relationship that is meant, or, 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 or let me just put it in this simplicity term, by the lake of a good way that I can put. It is not a relationship that is meant to support you, uh, 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 rather maybe with your entire spectrum of life. If you are being mentored financially, receive financial help, receive financial advice to that particular mentor, and then you move Move on. It is possible to have a different mentors, and it's also possible to have one mentor. That's what I'm trying to put the difference here to say it's possible to have different mentors, it's possible to have one mentor that can mentor your life. So as I'm closing, as I'm closing that, these are some of the things that they are not a mentorship relationship. But the question will be, what is a mentorship relationship? This is what I'm going to say. A relationship or a mentorship relationship, it's a relationship that is meant to, to, to help you, to transform you, to develop you, and to make you see the greater potential that you possess. So number two, the thing that a mentorship relationship is, which I've, I've said what is not, now I'm saying what it is. Number one, it is a relationship that is meant to grow you, develop you, and also make you to see the greater potential that you have. Number two, it is a relationship that is meant to uplift you. You know, some of the mentors that we have, they are going to help you not to make the mistake that they have made. They are going to help you to, to, to reach to some places that you have never thought that they are going to reach in your life. So there are mistakes that you are not going to do because of that mentorship relationship. Number two, there's knowledge that is accumulated for years that you are going to receive maybe in one hour, which I'm not despising that it's a great investment there. So, but I'm saying that the mentorship relationship is also meant to uplift you. It's also meant to uplift you. As I'm closing, my faith, as I'm closing, saints, brethren, and, 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 and this is one thing that you should always be grateful for. Make sure that you appreciate each and every person that mentors you. Make sure that you take time to appreciate them. Make sure that you, you, you respect them. Make sure that you, you, you always humble yourself. And make sure that you go to them with a teachable spirit, which is very much crucial. A teachable spirit is needed, especially in our churches. Especially in our churches. Don't go with your, your mentality of, 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 of boosting and all those things, but go there with a mentality of learning. You need a teachable spirit for you to grow. Our one man of God said something which is very much crucial. He said in each and every level of our life, we do not go there as masters, but we go there as students. What does it mean? It means you must have a teachable spirit if you want to grow in life. So a mentorship program, as it is going to grow you, make sure that you have a teachable spirit. As this year continues, make sure that you find a mentor in your relationship, in your business, in ministry, in your life. Find a mentor that is going to mentor you. And I'm telling you, you are going to reach higher heights in life. I'm telling you, you are going to see and discover the great potential that you possess. And this is I, Pastor Reese, your leadership coach, your relationship coach, and your author. Make sure that you don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. And this is I, and I say, Shalom, Shalom.